Seinfeld was the biggest American TV show of the 1990s. The four main characters are like archetypes from a kid's show. Normal, tall and silly, short and irritable, girl. Today's math prop appears in Season 7, Episode 21, The Bottle Deposit. Kramer and Newman are planning another one of their harebrained schemes. See, in the Northeast U.S., there's a sort of recycling incentive program. Whenever you buy a soda bottle, you pay a tax of five cents extra. And if you bring the bottle back to get recycled, they give you the five cents back. In the state of Michigan, the whole thing is ten cents each. So Kramer and Newman, who both live in New York, have the brilliant idea to get a bunch of five cent bottles and bring them to Michigan to return them for ten cents. This could earn them some profit, but it's a little tricky considering how far the drive is. If they spend too much on gas, then the whole thing isn't worth it. So Newman's running the numbers, and he does it on this thing, a classic cranking adding machine. This looks like what they called the Burroughs Portable from the mid-1920s. It's not portable at all by today's standards, but its predecessors were 100-pound beasts that were often built into their own stands. This one, you could pick it up and carry it around if you wanted to, so it's portable. Seinfeld takes place in 1990s New York City, long past the heyday of mechanical calculating, so obviously this is meant as a gag. It's a silly but effective way of demonstrating the great mental energies that Newman is devoting to this scheme. This is a typical Seinfeld bit. Technically speaking, it's realistic, like this whole scenario could actually play out in real life, but it never really would. Newman is trying to estimate his profits taking into account the cost of gas versus the revenue of all the bottles he'll return. This involves some simple adding, subtracting, and multiplying, which this machine can do, more or less. It's not really meant for multiplying, but it'll do in a pinch. He's got maps of New York and Michigan, charts of driving distances and driving times, some kind of hand-drawn graph over here. He's really putting in the work. And the table is covered with rolls of paper that he's been printing on. Although these can't have come out of this machine. The output from a burrows will always have the printing aligned to the right side. There's no way to make it look like this. He rips the tape off and compares it to his notepad here, which doesn't really have anything written on it. But he is more or less operating the machine correctly. You type a bunch of numbers and pull the crank. His whole table shakes when he does it, just like mine when I film my videos. And it sounds authentic too. There's no exaggerated cash register type sounds that they put in sometimes. I'd say it's pretty good. In the same episode, George goes down to the payroll office at work. They got a printing electronic calculator on the desk here, which is probably appropriate for the time. In conclusion, I give Seinfeld the bottle deposit my math props rating of good. Thanks to James and Chris for the tips. Let me know if you see any more.